another video. Today we're going to be taking my dog Lucy to the plant nursery which is something I've never done before but it was a really fun and cool experience and I think overall she really enjoyed it. There was rain in the forecast so we put this little coat on her but it actually didn't end up raining it was just a little cold but the coat still kept her warm and looked really cute. Anyway I did vlog a bit while we were there so let's get into it. Here's Lucy looking all cute in her coat before we left. She's just absolutely adorable. I love this coat and it's nice and fuzzy for her. She of course had to run around and play with some cardboard before she left. And here she is ready to go on her adventure. First we stopped by all the house plants. I looked all around and Lucy definitely helped me pick the ones I was going to get. I ended up picking up this piece of chala wood to put in my aquarium because I think it's really cool. This plant over here is adorable, the tiny little purple leaves. If anyone knows what that is, please let me know because I really want one. <laughs> We walked around some more as it's a very big property. This was very good for Lucy because she got a ton of exercise from all the walkies. She also sniffed a ton of the plants and was very intrigued at all the different smells. As you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful and there's a ton of plants here. This is the Syngonium I got. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and it just really stood out to me. Lucy really loved this pile of wood. It must have smelled really good. Here's the piece of trawl wood I got and it's time to put it in the aquarium. I was just going to put it in there, but then I remembered wood floats, so I had to anchor it down with a rock. My original plan was to tie it to the rock, which actually didn't work very well because the rock didn't stay attached, so I super glued it, and that worked super well. It stayed attached, and it looks really nice in the aquarium. All right, so the next day after going to the nursery, I didn't have time to film this yesterday because we had to take Lucy to the vet to get her dog flu shot and then I had to clean up my room and stuff because we're leaving for a trip tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got yesterday. The first thing is this little Syngonium. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of Syngonium. It was with all the other Syngoniums, but the leaf shape is very unique. I really like it. It looks pretty cool. It also has kind of like this reddish pinkish veining on all the leaves and I love Syngoniums. This is my fourth one so yeah I didn't get this pot there. This pot I've had for a while but this one was only seven dollars which is a pretty good price for how absolutely beautiful it is. It's nice and full. I checked it for pests. We're all good so yeah I just really like it and I think it's pretty cool looking. Next thing I got is this little succulent, as you can see, and it's in this pot that I got for Christmas. This is a narwhal pot. It's actually surprisingly difficult to find good, cute pots like this, but this one's really cute. I love little pots that are like 
in the shape of animals. I just think they're adorable and the succulent is gonna look great in there. It does have a little drainage hole at the bottom if you can see that, so the water will be able to drain through. And I do have a couple succulents despite my inability to keep them alive very well. I have found success with a few of them, so I'm hoping that this one will be one of them. I just really need to focus on not overwatering them and giving them enough light because that's what I struggle with most but I'm gonna hype myself up with this one and I think I'll be able to do it. I also ended up buying a couple really cool handmade pots while we were there. So this one, as you can see, is just like a little glazed pot and every single one had a little bit of a different coloring and pattern, so they're just very unique and it's a very good quality ceramic pot. So I really liked it, it's super cool and it's definitely going to look great with a plant in there, so I cannot wait for that. And then this is probably my favorite pot ever. It's so cool. It has even more of that handmade look. Again, each one was unique and different from the next one. I think the colors are so cool. It just looks amazing and very natural looking, while at the same time very artistic. So I really like it and this is going to look amazing on one of the shelves. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed coming along to the plant nursery. I know I definitely enjoyed vlogging and something I would like to do again in the future. I'm actually going back to a different plant nursery after we get back from our trip because I'm kind of obsessed and obviously these shelves need more filling. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!